The Boston Marathon finally took place this Monday after being postponed twice due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This was the first non-virtual Boston Marathon since April 2019. Since its inception in 1897, the historic 26.2 mile race has never been canceled or rescheduled. That is, until now. Many BU students celebrated by going to day parties in Alston and on the marathon route. Everyone's, you know, definitely drinking, definitely starting early. Uh, you know, it's probably like, what, 9 a.m.? <laughs> definitely, definitely drinking a little bit here. Traditionally, the marathon is held on Patriots Day in April. This year's decision to reschedule the date to October 11th was controversial because it coincided with Boston's first officially recognized Indigenous Peoples Day. I haven't seen any recognition of it being Indigenous Peoples Day, um, so I'm sure the race organizers could have uh, incorporated more awareness, especially because this is such a large public event that it would be helpful uh, for more people to be aware of uh, what has happened amongst Indigenous communities over centuries. Kenyan Benson Capruto came in first for the men's race with a time of 2 hours, 9 minutes, and 51 seconds. Diana Kipyogi, also from Kenya, took home the win for the women's race and finished in 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 45 seconds. Switzerland swept the wheelchair division with Marcel Hoog and Manuela Schar respectively winning the men's and women's race. Reporting from Copley Square with BUTV News, I'm Eileen Tran.